Okay, so, oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm here at Goodwill in the parking lot. There's people everywhere. I feel really, wow. really awkward talking to you right now. Um, but I just dropped off a few things. So that means I can buy some more things, right? Um, it's a super healthy mentality, I suppose. There is a purpose. I am making my Halloween costume. Um, maybe I'll find something for it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Okay. So I did not find the fabric that I was looking for. There was like a set of curtains that was almost the right color, but they were more green than I wanted. I want it to be blue because even though in the show, um, Shelly Johnson's waitress uniform for the Double R Diner looks kind of greenish. I think that's just because the whole show has like a yellow tint and it's actually a blue dress. Um, and I also already have like a greenish flannel at home that I could use if I really can't find something blue. So I'm not going to buy something unless it's exactly what I want. But I did something bad. <laughs> okay, so I went to Salvation Army after I went to Goodwill. So I was looking around and I didn't find the fabric that I wanted, but I saw these two vintage Singer sewing machines. They were really nice. They were like attached to tables. They had notes on them from the Salvation Army that said that they worked perfectly. But they were $120 each. So, being unemployed, I can't exactly swing that right now. Um, so, I told myself no, and I feel pretty good about that. I stayed strong, um, and I kept meandering around. But, then I saw hiding in the corner was this little case, and I opened that bad boy up. And it was a sewing machine, and it was $30 instead of $120. Um, so I made sure it worked. I did go and plug it in. It does get power. Um, I think there's one small issue with it where, like, um, a belt is not where it needs to be. Okay, so I'm home. Uh, it's about 12.45. I'm gonna guess if I know Ian, he is still asleep. And so I gotta hurry wow. inside so I can hide it from him. Okay, so Ian is asleep. I was correct about that. Um, but he's in the room right next door, and even though he's kind of a heavy sleeper, and there's two closets in between us, I'm going to treat you guys to some ASMR, because I'm paranoid. So, here it is. Isn't she pretty? this little plate on the back that's covering up something I don't know we'll see all right so as you can see it's electric I don't know what year it is but it does work the pedal is metal um, that's gonna be fun it's got a little stamp on it the manufacturer. The cord is really nice. It's not frayed at all, so that's really good. It's super old-fashioned though. Um, 
came with this tag on it from whoever the previous owner was, I guess. Um, and it says that the sewing machine was not originally electric, so I guess it was originally a hand crank. And you can just turn this here. Um, and then at some point they electrified it and they put it in this case. And actually I just realized that there's like little feet here that hold it into the case. So it actually should flip up, I think. But, um, so like I said, the electricity does work, but this does not turn when it's turned on. Um, so the, uh, the needle doesn't go up and down, but I checked and like it does, it's really smooth, but I looked at it and the issue is over here. You see this belt here? It's got these teeth on it. It's supposed to go around here and then that'll turn it. Um, so it's like maybe like a really hard rubber. So I'm kind of afraid that I'll snap it or I'll break something, so I'm going to look up how to fix that. Because I think it just needs to be put on here. And then it'll work. And I mean, really, worst case scenario, I can actually like break it and then use it as a totally electric-free model. So... He was fixing a machine almost exactly like this. So, I look down here, there's this bolt. I loosened that, and that let this come off. And it also lets it go up further. Oh, I can take this off, that's right. Depends. Wow. guys. I like watch them for two seconds and then I think I have it and then I go do the thing. So it's not always true, but today apparently it is. Okay, so then this screws off and it looks like I am going to need to get a new belt. Alright, so this is the moment of truth. We're gonna see if that actually worked, if it snaps, whatever. Here we go. I think it wants to work. But I'm burning up the motor, I can smell it. So maybe that's not right. Down there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this belt off, find out what it is, try to find out if it's the right one for this machine. There's like instructions underneath the machine that I'm going to look at and see if they tell me what type because it is cracked. Maybe it needs to, I don't know, be tighter. We'll see. So I will do that and I'll get back to you. It's here. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Ugh. Nope. This is the belt for the antique sewing machine. Hopefully this is all I need to make that thing work. Um, I ordered it from company in Michigan called Central Michigan Sewing Supplies. So I'm going to see if I can attach this to the sewing machine and not burn up the motor. First, I'm going to take off this screw. Oop. Come on. Okay. Try not to lose it. And then unscrew it. Okay. 
whatever. Here is our old, very cracked, if you can see that, I don't know, um, thing, belt. This was the second type of belt that they were selling online. Um, I got this black one instead to see if it worked better. We'll see. It is basically the same, except there's no teeth on the inside. Unscrew this guy, which holds up the motor over here. And so now this is free to move around. I still am not sure where on this part this is supposed to even go. I feel like it's supposed to be up here, but maybe it's like way back in that well. I don't know. It was in the well when I bought it, so let's try the well first. Seems incorrect. Something about this is not right. So I've got power running now. Everything is plugged in. Let's see. Oh my god, it worked! It worked! Ah! Oh my god, this is so exciting. So, that's how you do that, I guess. I'm like dying. Also, it has a light. So, I guess stay tuned and see what I make with this lovely lady.